Welcome to Monte Carlo for an exclusive Ignition GT Suzuki Swift Sport Shootout. Yeah, we wish, we wish. <laughs> budget, budget, budget. So we are in... Krugersdorp. Ta -da! <laughs> Lots of stars. But it's also got a casino. It does, it rocks. <laughs> no, seriously, we thought uh, we're here for the new Suzuki Swift Sport. And we thought uh, since Suzuki's been doing so well in the Junior World Rally Champs with the Swift and the Sports, uh, we thought we'd bring it somewhere where Tight. Can, we can chuck it around. Yeah, some handbrake turns. Yeah, well, you can chuck it around. Can I chuck you around in it? Uh, let's test that out. Let's go, come. <laughs> let's don't go mad. I will take it very easy. You know I'm a bit of a nervous passenger, Morris. <laughs> Handles well, eh? Very punchy little gearbox. Uh, please, okay, I'm not comfortable. I'm not comfortable, Morris. Seriously. Nothing, eh? At least I'm getting more of a response out of the car. <laughs> Wait, Morris, please, please, please. You like it a lot, eh? You know, fun. I know, I'm sorry. You know, it's just, it's different when you're in the passenger seat. It's better. Well, I suppose we could, we could enter the veteran rally. Eh? Just, just, just do it normally. Okay, you can just... show me how it performs without like... No, I could, you, no, you, you, you actually can't. Yes, you can. No, it's impossible, but... Now you're driving like a girl. No, I'm not, but this is how you would, let me talk, let me, this is sticking to speed limit. But let's seriously, let's talk about about the the Swift Sport. You absolutely loved it when you had it around Killarney. Yes, I did. The yeah. Swift, you did, yeah. And um, this is obviously just... It's different when you drive yourself. <laughs> I, 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 I guess, I guess. But this is pretty special. I mean, 92 kilowatts is good yeah. for a 1600. Quite a bit more and quite a bit more torque as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 141, I think. What is it? Uh, 148. Yeah. Huh? 148, the 4,800. You know, one of the things they were commenting on with this car is that the, the power only comes through at quite high revs. So yeah. it's quite similar to the Hondas in that respect, but you have to wring its neck a bit. Right? You, you, you do, uh, but the Hondas have more of that boof, throw you back in the seat when it gets yeah. a certain rev, whereas yeah. this just kind of winds Gradual. and winds and winds. Uh, driving on the open road, it's only got five speed gearbox, mm -hmm. and it sounds mm -hmm. like wailing banjees when you're sitting at like 150 on the really? highway because it almost deserves a sixth gear. Yeah. But on these sort of roads, this is perfect because the gear ratios are so tight. Oh, really? Yeah, short, so short shift. Yeah, so you can okay. short shift through it, um, and it really is a lot of fun to drive. But the bit that you were hating on the first run is that being able to just jab the handbrake because it's so short with a nice tight suspension, it really is a lot of fun. So the other thing that they have also done with this car that makes it uh, more sporty than the normal Swift is the, is the chassis and suspension they've changed. Are you feeling that? Yeah, well that's what you feel straight away. That's why going into the, I mean the road surface isn't particularly smooth through the hairpins. Yeah. And uh, you jump, jump on the brakes and it just it squats, it sits down, whip the little handbrake up, it really is, uh, it really is pretty special. Yeah. But you know, that is what makes these cars so much fun because they, I think the engine spec specification on this yeah. is, is a perfect setup. Yeah. Because it's got just the amount of, of, of power to have fun in it, and they save cars. Well, it's quite interesting that they've gone from 1.5 to 1.6. Like, why didn't yeah. they just, you know, put something into the 1.5, put jam a turbo in the 1.5? I suppose, they, I suppose they, they could have. But yeah, I mean, it, it's a good question. We should actually ask them that. But, you know, if you look, it's, uh, its competitors would be the Twingo RS pretty much head to head. Take this, definitely. Uh, yeah, in terms of looks, because yeah. I know it is a, it's, it's a, a cracker. Twingo looks like a bit of a, a, a toy. I think that's the thing where this car will win, is, is the looks. It's mm. just beautiful. Eh? It looks stunning. Was that better? Could have gone a little faster. There is somewhere in between those two. Ah, okay. I just didn't want to get it wrong again. <laughs> the interior of the Swift Sport takes its cue from that sporty exterior. Red and black trim gives it plenty of vimmer. Sculpted sport seats, a leather steering wheel, stainless steel pedals, and that stubby gear shift put you right into the junior WRC driving seat. Rear leg rim is as expected in this size car, a little tight, while the boot is also just about functional. You know what the really cool thing is about the Swift Sports? What? That if you buy one in South Africa, you'll be one of only 100 in the country. Now we're in number 84. Yes, we are. Oh. You get a little name plates. 
I wouldn't buy number 84. <laughs> I wouldn't buy number 84 <laughs> it's been, either. It's been driven hard. Seriously, you've loved this car. Yeah, I, look, we like styling in Swift, and I think what they've done now, it's just really rounded it off really well. Yeah. You know, It's got a lot of boy racer appeal, I think. It's got good lines, yeah. man. It's got it credibility. You know, even if you're a junior kid getting in, this is your first little boy toy, it's going to give you some serious street cred. Yeah, I think you're right. Mm. Mm. And you look That's at like solid. competitors, I mean, Mini, mm. Twingo, mm. RS. Um, yeah. Uh, girly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. This, this has definitely got a more masculine appeal to it. My, my only objection, um, we love the gearbox and the chassis, but I just think, you know, it's fun to be throwing it around corners and, and the handling is supreme. But you're going to be cruising on the open road as well, and, and that's where I think it just needs a sick go. Why don't you write to them and let them know? Yeah, you know, okay, well, why don't I just tell them on, on Ignition GT <laughs> and maybe they'll watch it and let them know. Who do you think you are? Jeremy Clarkson? <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, no, because he doesn't drive. Um, no, but wait, wait, seriously, it, it, it really screams on the yeah. open road. It's, mm. it, it feels like it just needs it from, a, from an economy point of view. Mm. A lovely car. It is a nice car. I'm going to have to um, take the fifth on that one because you've been hogging it. So mm. I'll drive it and uh, we can chat about it in the studio. Can I drive your Mini? No. No, don't even think about it. <laughs> it's a handbrake on your Mini. <laughs>